What's up, Anafanex? Tech Fanatic here from AltimateRoblox.com. With me, I have the MyUI ROM, and be showing you how to install it. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that you have the MyUI ROM already downloaded onto your phone. So, as you can see, my MyUI, MyUI ROM is right there. So, it's already downloaded onto my phone. So, as always, I have a link in the description below on where to download it. And this MyUI ROM will, will work for the GSM, Ryzen, and Sprint. So, all three Galaxy Nexus phones. So it's very universal, so it will work for all three types of devices, so no, no need to worry if it's compatible with your type of Galaxy Nexus. So first, make sure you download that MyUI ROM for your computer to your phone, or you can download it directly to your phone. As always, I have a link in the description below, like I just told you. And once you have that installed, we're going to enter Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode. So make sure you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on your phone. If you don't have it installed on your phone, look right there on how to install it for Windows and for Mac. So once you get that done, we're going to enter our phone into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So just power off your phone. Power off. And MyUI is a very great ROM and I highly recommend you get it. And if you're wondering if you should get it or not, watch that ROM review as well right there. If you should get it or not because MyUI ROM is a very unique and very fun ROM to use. So once your phone is powered off, hold the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding until volume up and volume down. So all three. Vibration, let go of power. Okay, you'll be on this screen, press the volume up twice, and power button to enter into re recovery mode. Alright, give it a few seconds until it boots up into clock will not recovery. Okay, you'll be on this screen. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look at that. So first thing, we're going to wipe everything and delete everything so you don't get your phone soft bricked. So this will delete all your apps, datas, and settings, so make sure you back it up. If you haven't backed it up, just like Reboot System Now and back it up all onto your computer or onto the Google Cloud or anywhere else you want. So we're going to go to Wipe Data Shots Factory Reset. You can touch it as well if you have the touch version. I'm just going to use the keys so everyone knows it. And select Yes. So now it's wiping it. As you can see. Okay, it's complete, and I use options once again, and it says complete at the bottom, so that's when you know it's done. Now we're going to do wipe cache partition, and select yes. There's wiping as well. Now we're going to advanced, and select wipe down the cache, and select yes. Okay, that's complete again. Go back, install this from SD card. Choose it from SD card and find that MyUI ROM that you just downloaded directly onto your phone or you transferred from your computer. So you can see, as you can see, mine is right there, MyUI. So I'm gonna select that one and I'm gonna install it. So select yes. And there's no GApps involved in this one. GApps is already automatically installed on your, it's already integrated with the MyUI ROM, so you don't have to worry about installing GApps. So that's a big bonus. So less things to download and easier following process on how to install it. So this will take a few minutes, so I'll be back when this is done installing. Okay, the process is complete. So now we're just going to go back and reboot system now. So it's going to reboot your phone back into my UI, um, the custom RAM for your Galaxy Nexus, GSM, Verizon, or Sprint. So wait until it gets a boot animation, and then you can see that you're on my UI RAM. That's highly customizable, even if that's a word. Um, and it's very unique. You won't even know that you you won't even know that you're on Android. That's how unique it is. So I'll wait until it boots up, and then we'll give it a few seconds. Okay, so you can see right there that it's booting up myui.us. So that's the website, and this uh, RAM is very popular, and um, it works really great, no problems at all. So I'll be back once it's done booting up. Okay, it's finished booting up, and now you're on the setup screen, so you can set up all your Gmail and everything else that you like. I'm just going to skip it and um, this welcome screen will take a little bit of time for me because I don't have my SIM card in here, it's actually my Galaxy S3. So this will take a little bit, so I'll set it up and I'll be right back after this. Okay, my phone has been finished being set up and now as you can see, everything is very unique on this RAM. You can see all the wallpaper and everything, but if you're interested in what features it offers and everything else, how to use it and all that, definitely check out that RAM review right there. But for now, we're just going to look into about phone and show you that it's on my UI. 
So as you can see in the Jelly Bean version, it's on My UI and it's heavily themed as you can see. So it's a very fun RAM and I hope anyone get it because it's a very big change up from your uh, usual AOKP RAMs and Sidegenerman RAMs or any other custom RAM. So it's very unique, it's one of a kind, very one of a kind. No other RAM is even close to this. So I'd highly recommend you use it and check out that RAM review as well. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you found this video helpful. And if you want to see more round reviews and other tutorials for your Galaxy Nexus GSM, Ryzen and Sprint, and this is a video a big old thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. And if you need help on this and how to install it or anything else uh, Android related, any question at all, I mean any question at all in the world, you can contact me through Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus and email me. All links will be in the description below. I'll see you next video guys. Enjoy Galaxy Nexus with your MyUI RAM. Yeah.